run you through my setup here real quick. I got uh, about 13 feet of main line, my 10 car line. Tied onto that is about three feet, two and a half, three feet or so. Tip it down to a crant from Toxic Flies, connected with a loop or you know loop to loop connection on the dropper, about a foot or so down to an Everett's bluegill bug. See if we can get some uh, some panfish to bite. Maybe we'll even get lucky and hit two at the same time. That'd be pretty cool. So basically the crant acts as a strike indicator and a fly. You see that? This one came up and hit the hit the crant. There we go. And then you can see the little dropper line with the bluegill bug is hanging around him. Let's get him unhooked and Gonna, there we go. He was kind of tangled up in my line a little. Every time, you know, every couple of fish you catch, make sure you check your knots. So either fish will come up and hit the one on top, or you'll be able to see it, you know, it'll hit the one on the bottom, and the top one acts like a, a float or a bobber or a strike indicator, you know, whatever you call it. it lets you fish the bottom one at a fixed depth. That one, <clears throat> ooh, gotta keep him out of the grass. That one I actually saw hit the hit the dropper before he pulled the float under. Little rock bass. Oops, I'm gonna have to sit him down here. There we go. Gotta get him in my left hand. I can't use my nippers or my uh, forceps very well with my right hand. Little rock bass. <laughs> 